Yeah. So, um, but yeah, girls, <clears throat> we gotta have us a little knee to knee. I really gotta talk to y'all and shit, real shit. Real motherfucking shit. God damn, I gotta talk to y'all motherfuckers. I gotta talk to y'all motherfuckers so bad. Oh my God, Lord have mercy. Bitch started to do the most. <clears throat> yep, that is the truth. Motherfuckers starting to do the most. I'm having fun, you know what I mean? I'm having fun and shit. I ain't fucking with nobody, you know what I'm saying? These motherfuckers is fucking with me, okay? And I ain't talking about no bitches. I'm talking about niggas, you know what I mean? These niggas is fucking with me. And when I say niggas, I'm talking about that in the men type of, you know what I mean? So, because anybody is niggas with me, it don't, it don't matter. But, you know, in this particular sense, I'm talking about men, okay? These niggas right here is fucking with me. I'm over here minding my own business, you know what I mean? And these motherfuckers over here, oh, how you doing? How you been? Where you at? What's going on? What you need? What you need me to do? All this right here. Huh? What is a bitch to do? What is a bitch to do? You can't even blame me, goddammit, because I bet you right now it's about 11 motherfuckers watching this shit right now saying, you know what, bitch? Low-key, I'll be that motherfucker right there, too, though. I'll be that motherfucker. To fuck what y'all talk about, nigga. I will be that motherfucker. You know what I mean? And there's going to be two or three in the back be like, well, <clears throat> it depends. Yeah, nah, bitch, you be that motherfucker, too. Quit playing. You know what I'm saying? That Barbara Ann, this motherfucker right here, go against the grain on every motherfucking thing. Bitch, you know you would too. Shit, hell yeah, that bitch be the main motherfucking one. Sign me up. Is there a waiting list? Yeah, sit down, bitch. Okay? Yeah, that part. But, um, uh, oh, shout out to my girl, motherfucking Fantasia. Y'all know I love Fantasia. Fantasia and uh, Anthony Hamilton is giving a little concert at the motherfucking Nokia. It's a Microsoft now, but it was, you know what I'm saying, it was the Nokia back then. But anyway, the shit is going to be in May. How about a bitch got a ticket already? Don't fuck with me. Okay, I got my ticket already. Nigga going to be in the pit on the fourth motherfucking row. Don't worry about it. It's going to be that bitch down there. Is it? I don't know. Man, do you see all that right there? Nigga, I see it. Nigga, I'm in mezzanine, but I see that motherfucker down there. Yeah. I'm going to be that one, okay? Yes. Oh, yeah. I'm going to go through me a little cleansing ritual. Little 90 days, 60 days, whoop the wop. You know what I'm saying? And get this motherfucker all chiseled out and all this old type of shit. Because I got some shows and shit to go to. I got some shows and shit to go to. I got a little trip to make. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got some shit going on. I'm, I'm, I'm going to hit y'all motherfuckers up. Y'all going to be like, wait a minute. Hold on. Is that a plane ticket? This bitch is on the plane. Ain't that a bitch? This bitch just done popped up. Just popped up on a random ass Thursday. This bitch is going. Where are you going? Don't worry about it. Don't you worry about it. I got this. You understand me? I got it handled. Okay? Bitches pulled around and I'm rubber band man like a motherfucker. I'm stressed up. Arms to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, the box with God. I'm stressed out. Okay? But trust and believe. <clears throat> Everything's calculated. Trust it. Everything is calculated, baby. I'm getting some shit done. Do you hear these motherfuckers cutting shit as we speak? Don't fuck with me, okay? And I ain't got my, my income tax check, okay? Don't fuck with me, okay? Um, anyway, so the tickets went on. Okay, um, what was it? Tuesday, I had got word that Fantasia and them was coming and, you know, that they were in, in you know what I'm saying, on, on tour. <coughs> so I was like, well, damn, well, when they come... When they come to um, Cali, because, God damn it, I'm there. So, found out they was going to be at the Nokia, Microsoft, whichever one, same place. You know what I'm saying? Address the same. So, uh, um, so I was like, okay, but when is the tickets going on sale? What's going on? They was like, oh, well, the, well, the pre-sale start on Thursday, and let us give you this code, and you know what I'm saying? You, you, you know what I'm saying? You in. I said, okay, no problem. So, I had put it on Facebook and all this other kind of stuff, and... You know, my girl meet you too cute. She gonna be in Spain. But I thought she was gonna be able to, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, come on down into this motherfucking show. Yeah, I, I love her, y'all. Michi, just too cute, man. That motherfucker be traveling all over the world. I said, bitch, where is you at, motherfucker? Is you in Aruba, bitch? Yeah, that motherfucker be all over the place, don't she? I said, oh my God, that's all I'm trying to do. I'm trying to travel around this motherfucker. Hell yeah. So anyway... So she was like, well, she ain't going to be able to go. She's going to be in Spain. And 
So, and uh, I think some other people was like, oh, well, we're going to look into it, and we're going to this right here, we're going to this right here. How about uh, <laughs> um, Thursday morning, uh, my motherfucking shit went off to let me know um, pre-sale at 10 o'clock. <laughs> motherfucker got a ticket already. Bitch going to be in the pit. Roll, foe, holler. Yeah. That motherfucker down there, it, it, that bitch got on all white. God damn. What the fuck? Hell yeah. Is that a figure eight? Yeah. I'm going to give it to him like it's supposed to, baby. So, yeah, I'm going to go on me a little health conscious. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? A little chisel plan. You know what I'm saying? To chisel this motherfucker out and make it do what I need it to do. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, I'm just, uh, um, I'm getting it together. How about that? You know? And But I'm so excited for it, though, because I love me some Fantasia. Oh, my God. I did a video about her years back. You know what I'm saying? Y'all motherfuckers still be watching and laughing. I be getting motherfuckers saying, oh, boy, boy, boy. Yeah, y'all motherfuckers still be sending me messages about that motherfucker. Yeah. And I'm going to do a new one, too, about my girl Fantasia. Because I, I just, you know what I'm saying? I, it's just something about her. You know what I'm saying? That's my, you know what I'm saying? That's my niece. I love her. You know, she gives a hell of a motherfucking show. And, and Anthony Hamilton to go with it? Man, listen. That motherfucker got a new motherfucking song came on. See, up there in the front, we had the motherfucking surround sound on. And we had, I think it's called Music Choice. I think that's the name of the motherfucking channel, Two Time Warner. Anyway, I don't listen to much of the radio, okay? I listen to whatever CD that's in my car or, you know, or, or you know. I, I, I don't even know nothing about Pandora. Now, I know about it, but as far as having it, like, on my phone and my iPad and all that, I'm just not, I'm not... Uh, computer tech like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what to do. I, I don't know what all you got to do to make it work out. So I, I don't fuck with it. So, um, but everybody I know, like my kids and stuff, they can hook their cell phone, Bluetooth, get down from whatever they got on their phone and have it playing in the surround sound in the other part of the house. But the other morning, you know, they was up there and they was working and everything. And, and so they had it, the music, the music choice channel on. I said, what the fuck? Anthony Hamilton's song came on called Amen. If y'all motherfuckers don't check that shit out, do you hear me? Oh, my God. I love that. I love, okay, let me tell y'all the songs that I'm fucking with right now, okay? I'm fucking with that. I'm fucking with Erica Badu. I didn't even know that motherfucker had some new shit out. She was saying, I can make you put your phone down. That motherfucker right there. I said, oh, shit. See, because, see, I love Miss America Badu, too. See, I, I need to do me a video about Erica Badu so I can let her know how I really feel about her. You know what I'm saying? That motherfucker said, I can make you put your phone down. I said, oh, my God. Nigga, I was in that motherfucker crib walking my ass off because I got me a cold ass two-step. Let me go and tell you that part. So, yeah, I said, oh, my God, what the fuck is this? They said, did she say make you put your phone down? I said, man, that's what the fuck she said. Nigga, I ain't mad at you, see, because I come from that motherfucking era. You know what I'm saying? Uh, excuse me, Erica. I come from the same motherfucking era. You know what I mean? The power of the pussy is cold. See, a lot of these young young ladies, they don't even understand yet. You know what I'm saying? They think they can do some shit and run a nigga off. Not when that motherfucker wants your ass, baby. That motherfucker shit. I done have had motherfucker hide his car. You understand me? Fuck, uh, put your cell phone down. I have motherfucker hide his goddamn car. Nigga, where are you walking from, nigga? Where the fuck did you, what direction? Where, where's your ride? Yeah. Motherfucker hit his goddamn car. I said, oh, shit. You see what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? When you make the niggas do some dumb shit, that mean that your shit is, you know, primo. That's it. That mean that your shit is 100, nigga. That mean it 10 40 weight. You understand me? Nigga, your shit's proper. Platinum package. Yeah. When you got motherfuckers out here doing dumb shit, erratic shit. Just, niggas, why is you just erratic, though, dog? You just doing dumb shit. What's going on? But, uh, didn't Tyrese already say that? You got me doing dumb shit? Yeah. You can fuck with them yoni eggs and shit if you want to, ladies. Them motherfuckers right there, it's something to it. I'm telling you right now, it's something to them motherfuckers. Look, I'm so cold with it. Let me show you something, okay? Now, I ain't done my yoni egg video just yet, which I'm going to have to do it. I know it. Y'all motherfuckers hit me up. My girl Dana, she want to know what's going on. Yeah. Well, I'm waiting on some 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 books, and I'm doing some more research about it because, and therefore, when I like to talk about things, and I'm and you know I get passionate about shit. Can you tell how a bitch, you know what I'm saying, serotonin level switching? 
Can you tell how motherfucking bitches dipping? You know what I'm saying? Because, see, I'm going to talk about some shit I'm passionate about, goddammit. You know, in health, beauty, and fitness, nigga, hey, that's my shit. Nigga, you want me to transform, nigga, get to talking about it. Cause, 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 uh, uh, wait a minute, I can't even get it out. Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> bitch, you still all right, bitch. You still, you still up there. <laughs> <clears throat> mm. I was getting ready to say creative clearing. Couldn't get it out. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, you get to tell my nigga, uh, excuse me, uh, we need a CBC. No problem. Yeah. Complete blood count. Okay, for motherfuckers that's in the back that don't know what the fuck I said. Yeah, nigga. We need to check your uh, hemoglobin. Yeah, motherfuckers is like, wait a minute, what does that mean? Yeah. It means that I have a nursing background. Motherfucker is thrown off. I admit that to everybody. I admit that shit to everyone. I am thrown the fuck off. This is the best thing that could have happened in my life for Google to uh, employ a bitch like me. Because I could do this shit right here and these motherfuckers still uh, want to sign a bitch up for new shit. Ain't that something? Anyway, but um, this right here is a must-have book. Girls, I'm going to ask that you get you one of these. Go on Amazon, okay? All of my books that I get, I get my books off of Amazon, okay? Amazon is the shit, okay? And my girl Helen back in the day put me up on it. I didn't know nothing about it, you know what I'm saying? She was like, nigga, if you want that African, uh, excuse me, that Jamaican cast oil, I'm going to need you to go over there to Amazon. And ever since then, a motherfucker been fucked up. Okay? Motherfucker even took my card years back. Remember that bitch took my card? She went and got her Amazon account with my motherfucking card. The dumbest motherfucking criminals. You know what I mean? This bitch bought some shit off of Amazon with my motherfucking card. Like, they couldn't track that shit in the back. You know what I mean? Anyway. But, uh, I let her go. I let her go. You know what I'm saying? You know, I never came back on and talked about it and shit. But, your mama, you lucked out. You know what I'm saying? You better be glad. You know? I mean, I know that motherfuckers is, you know, is down and out, and it's some motherfuckers that's really, you know, hitting and missing it. Motherfuckers is on some chews and fruits, you know what I mean? And so, you know, I really could have fucked you up about my money, you know, but, um, you know, God giveth and he taketh away. And it was just something in my spirit that said, let this young lady have it. Though I put your ass on blast, I had to do that, because you deserve the lashing. Yeah, you deserve to get embarrassed. You know what I'm saying? You unsubscribe me from Facebook and shit. Bitch, you needed to. Because your motherfucking ass was crooked. And you was out here thieving and, and hooking and crooking and, and taking from motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? So I had to put you on blast. But now that we are beyond that, from time to time, auntie do need to do a public service announcement. Because bitches seem to get me fucked up from time to time. You know what I'm saying? Motherfuckers want to take my kindness from the weakness. Motherfuckers want to go back and fuck niggas that I used to fuck with years ago. You know, motherfuckers done done all kind of crazy shit. Motherfuckers used to try to get at my husband, and motherfuckers used to do all kinds of crazy shit. But I've endured. It's been six years. It'll be, what, um, I think my anniversary here on YouTube is the 6th. What day is that? Is that tomorrow? Yeah, the 6th. I think it's the 6th. Is it the 6th? I think I did my first video on the 10th. I don't know. But I know it'll be six years in a, f in a few more days. And I've been doing my share of shit. So, yeah, when Google decides that they want to give a bitch a bonus and, you know what I'm saying, take a bitch out to eat and invite me down there to headquarters and shit, yeah, I'm, 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 <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, I'm deserving. Yeah, I'm deserving of that. Thank you. Thank you, Google. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Thank you. So, anyway, back on this motherfucking crystal Bible. <coughs> But, yeah, on my yoni eggs and shit. Because, see, the thing is, girls, you got to figure out where you need balance in your life, okay? That's where you begin at. And you do, you decide. Um, see, one thing about um, I love about being a woman is the fact that not only do we have choices and we can change our minds, but we have so much variety of shit that we can do, we can get into, we can wear. You know what I'm saying? That, you know, that, that men just don't have. You know what I mean? And I'm so glad that... You know, he worked overtime on making us. I wouldn't want to be nothing else. You know what I'm saying? I seen some chicks with pants hanging down. Bitches be wanting to be like dudes and shit. Hey, that's they get down. That's they thing. But, hey, I wouldn't want to be nothing else but this right here. Nigga, I'm so glad I got a pussy. Oh, my God, I talked to this motherfucker. 
man, I put my motherfucking yoni there again. Motherfucker got caught up one time. I said, oh, shit. See, now, I know some of y'all was hitting me up because I had showed y'all my ex, right, on Facebook. I got bloodstone and I got mahogany oxidant. Well, my motivation for getting those two was I was, you know, kind of figuring where am I lacking and where do I need some inspiration, some strength to pull from. And so, again, I went to my crystal Bible. Now, once again, people will take the word Bible and be like, you know what, I knew this bitch was in the, into some wicked and I knew this bitch was, excuse me. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, I have an open mind. Okay, you know, everybody not weak-minded. Okay, I ain't into no type of nigga. I believe in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay, I'm an enthusiast about a few things, but I'm far from dumb. I'm very conscientious. I'm very cognitive and cognizant. I don't make dumb moves. I make calculated ones. Okay, I'm very smart. I didn't get this motherfucking way, you know, by being on dumb shit. Oh, nor did I get this way through osmosis. Okay, so let's just be crystal clear on that part, nigga. Let's be Mikasa. Clear on that part, okay? <laughs> so I'm a lot of leak on that ass. Let's be that clear, okay? Yeah. So, um, so anyway, but, you know, it says Bible because a Bible is is just a book of knowledge. And the Bible, you know, you look up the, the meaning of Bible and, you know, it's it's a meaning. And um, the, the meaning of it is like a, 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 a book of knowledge, okay? A, a book of so many different things and stories and things and that and this and this. Well, they have the Bible on the back end. Because I'm going to be like, um, that's not the New Testament. I don't I, I don't want to know. Calm down. You know, because see, I understand that you can only respond and react to um, your integrity. Well, I don't want to say integrity level, but, you know, your level of vision. Okay? And some people are so close-minded to things to where they're not orientated to a lot of things. Um, there's a lot of people that never really been out of their small community, out of their county, less known out of their state. So a lot of people have this generational thing to where it's, okay, well, my mama was this, nigga, that's all I know. I'm going to forever be that, you know. And me, <clears throat> I, was never, I was never born into this world to fit in a box. You know, and I'm multifaceted. I'm all over the place. I'm going to do a little bit of that, this, 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 this. I'm going to taste, touch, and feel everything in this world. And at my end of my days, I want to look back and say, you know what, God, you put this before me, and I did the best I could with it. I had fun. You know what I'm saying? Man, I thought it through. Everything, you know. So that's just the way in which I do my life. But, you know, and so... um I'm an enthusiast about a lot of things. Matter of fact, like y'all see, I have a Buddha at my, at my front door. And it's like so high, about four feet. Heavy than a motherfucker. I mean, that motherfucker take about four or five motherfuckers because it's full of concrete. You know, it takes four or five motherfuckers to move it. But, you know, I'm an enthusiast about a lot of things. Um, but I am covered by the blood of Jesus. Okay? Now, hey, everybody got their own get, get down one thing about being grown is you have to learn how to respect other people's views and other people's get down. You know, there's a lot of shit going on in this world. There's a lot of shit that a lot of people do. I don't totally agree with it. But, hey, if I ain't got nothing good to say, I ain't going to speak on it. A lot of times people send me messages and say, Tina, speak on this. Tina, speak on that. Speak on the, the um, love and hip-hop. I don't watch it. You know what I'm saying? So I don't, I can't speak on something I don't know. I don't know what them young ladies on there doing with this same nigga. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, to me, that shit is scary to the motherfucker. Because this motherfucker, wasn't he just fucking Moniece or whatever in uh, in L.A.? And now he there back then? Man, I'm scared of that motherfucker. I don't even see how he's still getting pussy nowadays. He, everybody know about everybody? I don't know. I, it's just, I can't keep up with it. I, I got lost in the sauce. You know? And so, um... When I commentate on something, you know, I'm commentating on something that also I can relate to. I can't relate to some of that shit that be coming on. So, what the fuck? I can't, you know what I'm saying? And 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 nor do, um, 
my life is too full to just watch TV. I got too much shit going on to watch TV. I work for TV, <laughs> okay? <laughs> so a lot of times when you working for TV, you don't watch a lot of TV, shit. It's like you got, you doing this, 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 this. You got to get an email on when shit is going to come out, come on. Oh, God. Man, I don't, I, I don't know. You know, just like with radio. I don't listen to a lot of radio. I, I listen to, you know, CDs in my car. So I'm one of them, <laughs> you know what I mean? So, anyway, so you find out where you're lacking and where you need some balance, and then you can look it up. You know, you'd be like, well, you know what? I want to be more forgiving. Um, I want to be more open. Um, I want to be more loving. <coughs> I want, and see, and, and, and for me, I love, I love, uh, I love love. Thus, the reason I... I, so this is Rose Quartz, for those of you guys like, wait a minute, what's, what's going on? Yeah, um, my diamonds sometimes, diamonds to wear them for a long period of time, and it can give off a certain type of energy. Look it up, I ain't lying to you. But, you know, I'm, I, I'm one to go with the energy flow. That's just, that's just the way that I am. If the energy don't feel good, I don't go that way. Um, I always go back, when I get lost, I go back to where the energy was good. And that's back where my starting point. I always have a starting point. Even though I'm mother hen and I'm always gathering shit for the winter and all that kind of stuff because I believe in sowing seeds. For later harvest and everything in my life. I Every day or at least, you know, every day I'm thinking about something for next week. Um, weekly I'm doing something for the next week. It's like I'm working in advance. Um, and so, uh, just like motherfucking T-Mobile, them motherfuckers have you pay in advance. I'm that same motherfucker. I'm always working in advance. So the things that I'm doing now is things that I had planned way back then. I'm just reaping the harvest of the so seeds that I've already sown. So, anyway, um, I say that to say I done lost where I was. Bitches on the road right now. <coughs> Bottom line is. I was asked about my yoni eggs and why I picked the ones that I picked. Now, so that's what brought this on. I figured out where I was lacking at. Rose quartz, it's um, it keeps me more grounded when the energy is so high from that um, oxygen. It's the the energy is oof. the energy from that bloodstone is like whoa. And um, when I first got my eggs. You know, I put it in, you know, because, see, you can get, like, um, you know, there's yoni cleansing pearls that you could put in for a couple of days, and, you know, and it's like a a, a, a a step, like a regimen that you do. And your yoni is actually your little pocketbook for some motherfuckers that, you know, I got to be completely uh, blunt, your pussy, okay? For some that's still on some other shit, your coochie, you know what I'm saying? And for Deborah Jean and all of them, the pocketbook, you know what I mean? So whichever way you want to order slit or whatever, the cut, whatever the, the cunt or whatever you want to call it. Anyway, but um, to some, it's called the yoni. And so uh, I put the egg in and I was like, you know what, I really need some balance. I was going off, I was pinging off the wall, I was stressed out. I, had, you know, projects going on, okay, we got, we're doing rock tile, we're doing this, 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 I got to pay for that, this, this is just me, then my kids, was, my son was going against the grain, he started cutting up, I had to damn near choke this motherfucker out, you know what I'm saying, so, and I needed some balance, so, anyway, so I put my egg in there, that motherfucker, I couldn't find that motherfucker, Ain't that a bitch? That motherfucker would not come out. It wouldn't come out, man. And so, and see, with me, I put mine in, especially when I go into the sauna. And not only, it heats my core up better. It's like I'm infused with it much more better. It's like, it's during my meditation time, whereas I'll cut off everything. I cut everything out, the lights, everything. And when I go into my, when I go into that ritual right there, my kids already know. Mama's already in her thing. She don't want to be fucked with, bothered with nothing. I go through, I tell everybody, I'm getting ready to get in the sauna. You guys got a question, everything good. You made your plate, you straight. Okay, you you all right, this right here. You got to ride to work, okay, whatever. Okay, you good, you good, yeah. After I make sure everybody is good, now it's my time. 
And like one of my girls had uh, hit me up and she was like, well, Tina, how do you meditate? I really want to know. And, how, you know, how do you do these things that you do? Well, you know, I believe in the law of attraction. And once again, I believe in God. I believe, um, I believe in believing that things are going to happen. I believe in owning it. And, you know, I had to start from scratch and I had to accept who the fuck I was. I had to accept my life. You know what I mean? The mistakes that I made, the person I've become. The mother, the daughter, and the sisters that I am. I had to accept those things. And a lot of times, you know, people don't want to accept who they are. So a lot of times when you run across people that enjoy talking about others, that's because they're hiding from the life that they own, and nor do they want to own it. So they much rather prefer to talk about other people and other people's lives and what other people are doing as opposed to facing their own. See, me, I could talk about this, this, and this, but God damn it, I'm going to be transparent about mine. Because once you get to the root of it and, and figure out, okay, well, look, to change some things, I'm going to have to be uncomfortable, and I'm going to go through, I'm going to have to consecrate. I'm going to have to go through some things, okay? 